at the moment probably because people are able to add extra one or two bedrooms to their property be it flats or houses although each loft conversion is individual to its own project most common factors are insertion of steels into the party wall to gain floor separation for the purposes of sound acoustics this type of works is notifiable under the section 22F of the Act and is a section 3 notice for which the normal notice period is two months this notice period can be decreased by the agreement of the two owners loft conversions can also include notifiable works which are inserting flashing into the adjoining owner's property the other piece of notifiable work may be removal of plaster i.e. where you've got a party wall and because of the works being carried out a refurbishment plaster may need to be removed it's also a good idea at the same time to notify the adjoining owners of weather protection to a party wall i.e. the wall joining the two properties in the roof space is a party wall once you remove your roof for the purposes of constructing a loft this party wall becomes exposed and may require weatherproofing for a temporary period. It is a good idea to ensure that the party wall is weatherproofed while works are going on as this can lead to damp travelling down the wall and affecting your own property as well as your neighbours. In some loft projects Party walls are raised to form dormer cheeks, i.e. side of the walls of the, of the loft conversion in order to gain extra space. These are permitted under Section 2 of the Act and notifiable via Section 3 notice. However, there can be planning issues. As not all planners understand the term curtilage, this is a similar situation which occurred when permitted development for porches first came into place and planners assumed that the PD allowance is included whereas it's actually a separate section so if you're planning to raise a party wall you're actually allowed to do so by planning law however it can be the case where planners object you will have to appeal, likely to win the appeal, but these days people can't wait for the delay and usually build back or raise half the party wall, i.e. in the boundary. It's usually better to raise the full party wall and that in brickwork so that A gains longer lifetime, B is better for maintenance and C the neighbours are able to make use of it and also gives a better finish to the inner loft now once a party wall has been raised when the neighbour makes use of it again section 1111 of the act applies whereby making use means that the neighbour has to pay contribution towards the cost of construction of that wall usually the cost of construction usually a section 11 11 contribution costs are made at the time of making use and the costs are worked out at the time when the wall is made use of 